We take the unexplained and we just safely tuck it away in this supersized Pandora's box. Metaphorically speaking. Well, actually, Pandora's box is over in aisle 989B. The great thing about the show is we can do stories where artifacts are out in the world and we have to bring them into the warehouse, where artifacts are in the warehouse and they cause trouble for us and, and, uh, and they are taken out into the world. How cool would it be if you could have a compass that let you teleport or a sword that let you turn invisible or a coin that would let you see 30 seconds into the future? These are really cool things. You've got this world of wonder. Um, where you're seeing things we, you know, we don't get to see anywhere else. Some of the stuff is very spectacular and other stuff is kind of innocuous, but for some reason it has a special power that is prepared to unleash itself upon the world. It's like a bag of tricks for a, for a writing staff. You know, we, get, we run into a dead end and we go, well, what do we have in the warehouse? What could we have in the warehouse? Well, we've got Hitler's microphone, uh, George Washington's dentures, Artie has been in this warehouse working um, as a kind of a curator of this place for at least 25 years. And he has really no personal life. Once you take a look at what this warehouse is like and you see the extraordinary power that he has for surveillance or finding things out, because he has to, he has to figure out where artifacts may be lurking in the world and about to uh, cause horrible things to happen. I think that my favorite artifact uh, in season one of Warehouse 13 was the disco ball. Um, from uh, the episode Duped. Uh, that's, I don't think you get any better than that. It's fun, it's, it's festive, and it might be kind of dangerous too. I think my favorite artifact was Edgar Allan Poe's pen. I love the idea of, of making whatever you write actually happen. One of the props that was in the warehouse was uh, these glasses that have become mine. Actually, they were in the last episode, they were Timothy Leary's reading glasses. And the explanation was that Dr. Leary uh, uh, experimented with lots of different ways to see the world, to, to mess with your mind and open up your mind. And these glasses, when you put them on, uh, we heard purple haze and uh, you, everything kind of looked like uh, Van Gogh's Starry Starry Night. My favorite would have to be Lewis Carroll's Mirror because Duped is my favorite episode. And um, what else? The compass and Claudia was pretty cool. If you had seen the compass, um, even on film, I don't think you quite get the detail that the artisan who made the compass for the show, it's incredible. And when you get to see it sort of standing there by itself, it's the most beautiful piece of art that I've seen in a compass. Yeah, I like it. And somebody else has got it already. I have sitting on my shelf in my living room right now the compass from, from Claudia. It's, it's always a thrill when you get to keep a prop. Uh, from the episode, and, and Jack has been great. I'm sure they hate me in Toronto for always asking for props, but you know, the writers put so much of their heart and souls into these scripts, I want them to have things to remember them by. I think it's important. He did uh, come home from uh, Toronto, which is where we shoot one day, uh, and handed me the implosion grenade, um, the, uh, the bomb that we see in the episode that sucks everything in instead of blows everything out. I can't think of an artifact that, has, we, that we've designed that I haven't wanted. If I had an artifact that would be my favorite, it would be the um, Janis Joplin's uh, laminated backstage pass from, um, from Woodstock. And whoever held the, the backstage pass, whoever held that laminate, could travel through time to any concert that has ever, that has ever been. Dorothy's shoes from The Wizard of Oz, maybe. Michael Jackson's shoes and glove. Too soon, maybe, but I like to dance. You know, an artifact that would allow me to get uh, eight hours of sleep in, in three or four hours, that would be awesome. Eddie would say that my eyebrows are on steroids and that they actually should be on a shelf on their own in the warehouse. I won't give anything away, but um, an episode uh, early in season two, we will discover a very large and surprising artifact that's, that's there in the warehouse. And the idea that the warehouse is big enough that this could have been there all along and we never knew it, it's plausible. Like Artie always says, never, never rule anything, anything out. out.